But the, the concept behind this, and I know it looks good, it looked good on Jim too, we have his, his picture on Twitter, uh, is really that of, of sort of rebelling against what has been an area of frustration for me. In, if you think back to the Revolutionary War times and what Thomas Paine said, just because something has been done for a long time doesn't mean it's the right way to do it. And I'm sort of paraphrasing here. But what I'm specifically talking about is tagging. And there is a great frustration that exists, and I describe it as the tyranny of tagging. And these wigs are meant to represent my, in sort of a fun way, my rebellion against that, uh, that tyranny that has existed for years and years and years. And, and Jim mentioned it, I, I've experienced it with hundreds of clients on the Stratagen side in my old days as running a consultancy, and was, was so frustrated with this that I decided that we needed to create a technological solution to this that really starts what we're calling a tag illusion. And that tag illusion is, and I'm trying to think where my clicker is. Ah, uh, here it is. Okay. Uh, and that tag illusion, no, that was not the right button. The left one. Oh, great. I broke it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that tag illusion is very similar to what I view as the revolution that the founding fathers of this com country uh, went out and started. And they were frustrated with how things were going in England, taxation, price of tea, et cetera. But what I'm frustrated about is the amount of time that it takes to, to modify, add, remove, change, tagging for any of the solutions that exist out there. Whether it's a simple piece of code, whether it's an elaborate site catalyst implementation, whether it's a brand new vendor that's out in the exhibit hall that has the latest and greatest heat maps or session replay or other functionality that you want to try on your site. And being tied down to the to the, to the IT and development release cycle that takes months and months uh, in some cases before you're able to make even the simplest changes uh, incurs tremendous costs uh, to your organization from an IT developer, consultant, vendor standpoint and really doesn't give you access to manage the data the way that you want, collect the data that you want, use the vendors that you want and really is, is sort of the center point of this tag illusion. So that, that's really what these wigs are about, and that's why I'm wearing the silly wig. That's why everyone received a wig in their, uh, in their hotel room that's staying here. And anybody who wants one, uh, they're available in our booth. Uh, now, an important concept here is not that we, uh, well, let me put it this way. A lot of people have seen this problem. A lot of people have been frustrated by this problem. I'm not the first person who was frustrated by tagging. I, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. Can I see a showing of hands? Oh, actually, let's have people say I if, they, uh, if they've been frustrated by tagging at any point. Can I hear some I? <laughs> let's hear that once more. <laughs> I. So people have tried to solve this problem before. And the, the analogy that I like for that is really, if, if you think of, of Henry Ford, beginning of the century, if, you ask, if he'd turned around and asked his, his customers, what is it that you want, they would have said, I want a faster horse. Nobody said they wanted a car that didn't exist, that didn't, didn't make sense. And what, what we've done with Insighton and what we've done with, with tag management systems, in my mind, is really that, that big of a paradigm shift in terms of the way that tags are managed. It is really taking it to a completely different level in terms of of the efficiency that can be gained doing dozens or hundreds of site implementations of very custom solutions in, in days, uh, not months, uh, making tiny changes in minutes, not, not weeks or days, and really empowering the way that people look at tracking any type of platform, whether it works in, whether it's something that's generated from a portal, whether it's something that's built in Flash, whether it's a mobile application, a social application, all of those things are approached from a, a fundamentally different way uh, that, is, that truly empowers the end user, the, the marketer, the analyst to be able to change those things independent and with complete granularity and control, independent of IT and development and release cycles. Uh, this is just a quick screenshot of, of sort of what the 
insight and manage tool looks like once you're logged in. A lot of features, a lot of functionality. If anybody's interested, they can come see us. We're happy to provide demos. We've got a demo suite going upstairs. Not going to walk you through that very dense slide. The important thing about this, and this sort of ties back to my horse and buggy analogy here, is how is this accomplishable? And it can't be worse than what we're trying to solve. I've seen a few solutions that I would deem to be actually worse than the tagging uh, solution that it's trying to solve. What is really involved in this is a single line of code for things like HTML, AJAX, Silverlight, uh, any type of portal or content management environment. When we start talking about compiled environments, uh, we're trying to get it down to one line. It actually is one line if you make it really, really wide or have a really long monitor. Uh, but we, we refer to it as three lines of code uh, in that. It's a single, single insert, single recompile, and nothing ever uh, needs to occur after that. Uh, and once that is in, you have the ability to change all of that stuff uh, at any point in time. If you decide you want to track something different, if you decide you want to track with a different vendor, if you decide that you want to uh, not track it at all, all of that is completely possible uh, without ever needing to touch it, without ever needing the original developers again, and is in complete control of the analyst uh, as well. And that really gets to the possibilities. The possibilities of this, what it really opens up, and I, I, I was doing a demo this morning before coming on stage here, and I was sharing a couple examples. And the examples that I was sharing were of things that I had learned from our early customers. So people who were using our technology for things that I had never imagined. So people using it for data privacy management, not serving tags to people in Germany and France and kids under 13 and any people that they had identified to allow for the management of, of data privacy and the control of their data. I had seen people use it to switch off tests after tests had completed or reached a statistical significance so that they would stop being incurred charges from their vendors. I've seen a lot of different use cases that I had never actually Im imagined uh, when originally uh, seeing the solution. And that's really what we look at, is that Insighten is a platform that enables a, a tremendous amount of creativity to take place and to solve a, a ridiculous amount of problems uh, that have plagued at least my life for probably the last 10 years. Uh, some of the early, early adopters of this technology have been big companies, uh, very leading uh, firms in financial services, e-commerce, media, consumer packaged goods. Uh, again, more details if you want to stop by the booth. We've got some case studies. There's some stuff on our website. Also, if there's one thing that I would love, well, there's actually a few things I'd like you guys to do. One of them involves wearing the wig. Uh, but one that doesn't involve wearing the wig is come to the booth, come to our website, download the white paper that Web Analytics Demystified and, and Eric Peterson wrote about the space of tag management systems. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, obviously, we're a little bit biased. We were, we were a sponsor of the paper. I will say Eric did not allow us to uh, convolute the content of the paper as I had hoped. Uh, <laughs> instead, he, uh, he insisted on writing his, his views and thoughts, which, which is awesome, on this space. Uh, and he's done a very sort of thorough review of all the different solutions that are out there and sort of his thoughts on what actually adds, adds uh, value to an enterprise going forward. That's available free on our website. We've got copies of it in the... Uh, uh, in the booth if anyone wants it, but please, please take a look at that. It's a, it's a brand new area. It's, it's definitely something that's worth getting educated about. Uh, everyone got one of these who's staying at the hotel. If you didn't get one of these, uh, come to the booth and get one. The reason I want you to do it, uh, I don't expect you to just, you know, go for the style, which is, I think is coming back, but, you know, uh, maybe not, maybe not today. Uh, we're giving away a number of iPads. We're doing that today at 3 o'clock at our booth. Anybody who, is, who wants to join the tag Tagalution, put the wig on, take a picture of yourself. There's four different ways you can do it via Facebook, via Twitter. Come to the booth. We'll take your picture. Email your picture. That's how you get entered. But the one condition is you have to be at the booth at 3 o'clock or in the exhibit hall with your wig on if you want to win the iPad. So go back to your room, get your, get your wig. If you lost it, come to the booth. We've got lots of them. And, uh, and uh, enjoy uh, joining the Tagalution with me.